In this lesson, I'm gonna play a lick with four slides on the fretboard at the same time. <laughs> no, no, we're not gonna do that. But what we are going to do is talk about how different materials of a slide can change the tone. Let's get into it. Hey there, John here with the Blues Guitar Institute, and this is your Tuesday Blues. Today we're talking about slides. What I'm gonna do is take these four popular materials and I'm gonna play through a lick and let you hear for yourself how much, if any, tone change occurs. If you've got some headphones, throw them on because this is probably gonna be fairly nuanced. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna play through a lick in open G and I'm gonna cycle through these four different materials, glass, uh, stainless steel, ceramic, and then brass. And I want you to listen critically to the differences and see if it makes a difference. I thought this would be a fun little way to compare the materials. This is definitely not a scientific test at all. This is just me having some fun and playing through these different materials and I thought I would share it with you. So let's get into it. Let's start out with glass. <laughs> All right, before we move on, I wanna hear from you. Which one did you prefer? Was there a particular tone that sounded better to you or did it just all sound pretty much the same? I'm curious what you think or if you think it matters at all. For me, it does matter. And I tend to gravitate toward two of these. I will say that my progression uh, and as a slide player is I started with this glass slide or one very much like it and moved into this particular uh, rock slide and I dug it. I really liked this. It's comfortable for one because it has this notch. Uh, and then I liked the heavier uh, feel of it. And instantly I started really digging in a little bit more to slide playing and I felt like my tone improved. Not that this is you know determined by the equipment, your technique is what rules the day really. But for me, things just kind of started to align when I started playing this, this particular stainless steel rock slide. Now, after that, I got the, uh, the mud slide the Kebmo mudslide, it's ceramic, and man, it just sounded fantastic. And I was in love with this. This was the daily driver for a long time. I love the warmth, the roundness that I get from this. It sounds great. Any guitar, I just love this, and it's a go-to. Then I entered into this thought that I could switch fingers and move from playing on my ring finger to playing on my little finger. And I did that for a very specific reason, well, two reasons really. One, just to see if I could do it, challenge myself a little bit, and and then two, I wanted to see if playing with three fingers behind the slide helped me sort of incorporate more uh, fretted notes into my lines, my slide lines, and perhaps open up some, uh, some new possibilities on the fretboard while playing slide guitar. And I think it did. So um, I guess what I'm in the market for now would be a ceramic that fits on my little finger. That's probably the next step in the progression for me because I love this, but this isn't quite heavy enough. It's not quite as heavy to give me that warm tone from this big old ceramic slide. Um, but I do love the fact that it's smaller. I can move around a little bit. So there's definitely some pros and cons of each of these. All right, so what's the point? Well, two things really. First, I thought it would be fun, honestly, to just go through and document the same lick played substantially the same way with these four different materials of slides. 
and I wondered if you had a preference as well. And then secondly, I feel that each of these slides has pros and cons. And to me, that underscores the fact that personal taste weighs heavy in this stuff. And there's just no replacement. There's nothing that I can say that would give you more information about which slide you like the best then go into a shop and try some different ones out and give them a test drive. Let your ears, let your, your hands be your guide when it comes to that. Um, I didn't do it an all-in-one kind of experiment. I have collected different slides, and believe me, these aren't the only ones, over the years and have kind of settled into some things that I like, but it took a lot of years of playing. Um, and lately when I go into a shop and I want to buy a slide, I test out two or three different material, different ways different sizes, things like that. If you're lucky enough to live by a local shop that has that kind of uh, inventory available, give it a shot. There's just nothing that quite replaces that when it comes to which slide is best for you. And that's really what it comes down to. Which one is best for you? None of these are the best end all be all slides, but one of them is the best for me. One of these may or may not be the best for you. So go out there, get some slides on your fingers and test them out and find out which one you like the best. All right, the lick that I played is gonna be available in the interactive tab player for premium members. You can find out more about how to sign up and join the BGI premium membership. If that's not for you, that's cool. But before you take off, consider hitting that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you dig these videos. And come on back next week, I'll have another cool acoustic blues lesson for you. It'll be a whole lot of fun. I hope to see you there. And until then, practice smart and play on.